Okay, Pisces, let's talk about these. The first card is the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups to me signifies a life-changing time, a life-changing event, a life-changing decision. Feels like you're moving past a familiar situation or organization or family or relationship or work, whatever it may be, and you're moving on. You have everything in place. You're not feeling like, oh, I wish I'd, oh, I wish I'd done something about that. Or I, I, I'm not really leaving it tidied. I feel like you're leaving everything tidied up, but you're moving on. And this could be a major life-changing event. You could be leaving a relationship or you could, again, be leaving the job you have or the, the people that you've been associated with recently. But, you know, I feel like some of you are also beginning to. This is interesting because normally in this first position, normally to me, it feels like this is a position that's already begun, that it's begun in the last couple of months or the last month or the, even the last week. But something feels like it's tripping you up or there's a trigger um, that makes you want to move forward, push some sort of agenda into action. That's not usually what this card signifies, but I'm just saying um, leaving old memories behind. And, you know, I'm looking up here. This is a full moon, but look what really is outlined is the new moon. And look at your calendars and see when the new moon in July is. All right, um, we had, a, I believe, a full moon on the 9th of June, correct? So your new moon is going to be, I believe this is correct. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. There you go. Um, but look at the calendar. See when the new and the full moon is. During the full moon time period, whenever that is in July, it feels like to introspect around that full moon time period, you know, um, get your crystals out, howl at the moon, look at the stars. I don't know, but it just feels like to open up to horizons. Look at the stars. Look at how expansive that your feelings and your heart and your, your emotions can be and how that can serve you to move forward. Okay, so I would say during the full moon, do that. And during the new moon, it feels like it's a little bit more cheery. Express yourself. Express what you need to. Express what's in your heart. All right, so I'm looking at this next card. This is the Knight of Pentacles. It's almost like she's moving towards this Knight of Pentacles. So you all leave me in the comment below. This, uh, this guy traditionally would be a earth sign. An earth sign would be a Capricorn, Virgo, or Virgo or Taurus. Sun, moon, or rising. The knights move things forward. They just do. <laughs> they take charge. You know, the queens sort of have the essence, and they're kind of calm, and they just they just bellow their energy. Like, if this were a pentacle, uh, the queen of pentacles, she'd just sit there, and she'd luxuriate in her surroundings. But the knights, no, they're, they're on a mission. They are definitely on a mission. So, if this is one of the earth signs for you, then it feels like you're moving towards this person, this journey um, that's taking you to a place of possibly more earnings. If this is a person to you that is very grounded, which the earth signs are, and they're stable, you feel stability around them. You feel like they are creatures of comfort. Well, you are too. Um, you are too, Pisces. But I'm just saying that they have done well in their living or they're, they're, they have great ideas to manifest. They want to manifest more abundance. I just feel like you're, you may know someone. Tell me who this earth sign person may be in the comments below. So I would ask you, who, those questions. Who do you know that's very grounded? Who do you know that has a practical side to them? Very practical that you can lean on. Who do you know that has worked their way out of financial or organizational problems or hassles? And they just know how to do that. They just know how to 
carry on. So just you know, think about those questions. And here we have another, it's not really a moon, but it's a circle. Interesting. And look, we have the Hierophant as the last card. And the, what I noticed here is a, like a new moon look in the Hierophant. And the Hierophant talks about spiritual or religious teachings, scholarly teachings, spiritual pursuits, um, wanting to learn more, school. Um, any of you all that are wanting to gain attributes, uh, different levels of, I'm almost getting for some of you, your hierarchy in your social situation. Some of you are looking for how can I gain momentum with, with people that are seemingly upper echelon. Interesting. Here's some keys that can help you unlock those doors and rub shoulders. I'm not trying to be disingenuous in this particular reading. I'm just saying this card is coming off to me as um, rubbing elbow, el elbows rather with those who have abundance, those who have made their mark in the world, or those who have done really well. I'm just saying you can gain from this, Pisces. Whoever the person, organization, like-minded people, there's a lot for you to gain with this Hierophant card. Okay. And I'm, I'm loving how these new moons and moons are coming up. So this is new, and this is sort of like a moon. This is like a half moon, if you will, or three quarters of a moon. There's a lot of roundedness in this, although this is sharp. But I'm just noticing the round, the circular effect. Some sharps here, but circular. Meaning that, you know, you can... Go out to play and always come back. It's it's not a fr it's not like you're walking off the deep end. Now that circular may mean something different to you. Put it in the comments below. Couple cards here, okay. The Ace of Pentacles near this Knight of Pentacles. All right. So that feels to me like new beginnings with your money. Some new ways of making money, Pisces. So think about that. Be open to where you've been, and it's it's fine now. You're leaving the past behind, and what blessings is the universe handing you? <laughs> I was going to say throwing at you. That the universe doesn't throw. They may move our walls. They may move our our structures that we feel so solid around. And I don't mean literally, just metaphorically. And then they give us blessings. So be open to change. Be open to meeting people that you've maybe not met before and that may have different ideas on how to make things work. This is the Nine of Wands. Well, the Nine of Wands, he's very... Uh, I'm looking at this card. I'm not even going with the traditional. He has his wall up. He's protective of everything. He has everything he needs. But he's he's moving forward with one wand, and he has eight in place. So there's some more work you need to do. There's something else that you want to achieve. While these eight, and eight is about abundance and business, you have achieved that for a lot of you. And remember, this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If this doesn't resonate, resonate, watch your Moon arising, okay? But you have achieved abundance. But this is the this is the magical wand here. This is where you're taking yourself, your abilities, your knowledge, your insights, your future towards this Ace of Pentacles. There's something that's coming up for you guys. I want to draw. I want to draw a. Um, just one more clarification card of the clarification cards. Okay. The two of swords. All right, my friends. There's there's the taking off of the blinder so that you can see the vision. And what else do we have is a new moon. Oh, my goodness. So I want you all to look at the calendar and see when the new moon is. I wish I had one right around with me. I have in another room, but I don't want to leave the reading. Uh, but just, you know, Google it. When is new moon for July? Okay. All right. That's interesting. So being open, she has her hands over her heart. Take a deep breath. 
Don't feel so tied up. Don't feel like you can't make a move. You can. The universe is saying, we want you to just relax. We want you to be open. We want you to see more clearly. Take off your dark glasses. Don't put on your rose color, but put on your clear lens. Okay, open your heart a little bit. Do whatever you need to do to do that. Maybe some meditation. Maybe a massage. Maybe some you know, crystal work on you, maybe a reading. If you like a reading, you can get a hold of me at www.terraventura.com. And no pun intended there. I'm just saying whatever you need to do to, to see things more clearly because you have so much that the universe is saying you're moving forward, you're moving past, you're moving beyond. There's support for you in a couple different ways. This pentacle card and this hierophant. And something to do with your money, this, this opportunity to grow. All right, my friends. I'm going to add up the cards, the original. We have eight, nine, and we have, what is the Hierophant? The Hierophant is, drum roll, five, of course. The Hierophant, you know, in the Major Arcana cards, the Hierophant is, of course, the Fool is the first. Then we have the Magician, because he's creating his life out of what he learned on the the path of the fool, right? Then we have the high priestess because she's the intuitive. Well, so person needs intuition at the beginning of the life. Then we have the empress and the emperor, the mother and the father. 